everyone, it's your girl, Youth Pastor Jay, once again for yet another Teen Talk. Listen, as always, you're a teen, you have a lot to say. I'm a youth pastor, you know I have a lot to say, so teens, let's talk. But as always, before we jump into what I have for us tonight, please, please, please do your best. Hit that share, like, or subscribe button, or whatever platform you're watching this on. Please remember, this show is for you but not only for you. So let's do our best and share this content with someone in your neighborhood or in your class, in your school, on your team that you feel could benefit from this team talk tonight. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So last time we were together, I don't know if you got a chance to catch that, but if not, go ahead and watch the playback. We were talking about how to handle yourself when you get caught in situations where a fight might break out or you might find yourself in a situation where you think about fighting somebody or being in a conflict period what do you do so this week my thought process is this I was telling you all last week that you don't have to fight your own battles that the beauty about being in Jesus Christ is that God will stand up inside of you and fight your battles for you and sometimes Sometimes the wise thing, the mature thing, the, you know, I might be in ninth grade, but I got a 12th grade college level mentality is I'm not going to let you come out of character, pull me out of character rather. I'm going to take the high road and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to walk away. We talked about that doesn't make you weak. That makes you wise oh that's good that does not make you weak young people that makes you wise this week I want to highlight for you something in Psalms Psalms is a beautiful book the Bible is full of tea I mean it's just full of great stuff that just can empower you and encourage you but in Psalms there is a verse that says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord so let me ask you this you play a sport are you athletic or maybe you're like no I don't play I just like to watch or maybe you're like no I don't play and I really don't like to watch but I kind of am in a situation sit with somebody who's on the team think about being on the team oh they play sports so I go to the game and I support them type thing You know what it's like to see a team in action, right? You know what a team is. You know what it's like to play sports or actually be a part of a sport. Think about a team. You got players, right? But on the team, there's a captain. But who's over that team? Who's in charge and responsible for that team, making sure they stay organized and together? Coach, right? Every team has a coach. And whether it be basketball, football, swimming, chess, checkers, whatever, every team has a captain, every team has a coach. And these team players, they know what to do because their coach gives them plays, right? The coach pulls out plays, tells them this is what the play we're gonna run for this round. They go out there, They run the play, and the goal is to be successful, right? The coach gives them a play that where they can win the game. And just like that, God gives us plays. God instructs us just like a coach on a team does. He tells us, you, you're going to go here. You, you're going to go there. You, you're going to do this. And if we are willing to listen to our coach and let what he says hit our hearts and challenge us to do what he says and nine times out of ten just like a game we're always going to be successful now I said nine times out of ten because I'm thinking about your coach but when you're with God that's a sure thing it is always going to be a ten out of ten you are always going to be successful the steps of a good man are ordered by God but here's the thing In order for you to know what your coach on the team is asking you to do, you gotta do what? You gotta talk to him. You gotta check in with that coach and say, okay coach, 
You know, it's looking real crazy right now. We're down by three, three, about five, maybe even 10. It's looking real crazy right now, coach. What, what's the move? What's the play? And you lean in real close to that coach. And that coach tells you, okay, I'm gonna get you to do this, and I'm gonna get you to do that, and I'm gonna get you to do this, and this is how we're going to win the game. When you listen to your coach and you do what they say do, it's a guarantee. It's a sure thing, especially when your heart is invested into it. It takes heart to win this thing called life, but it takes God to instruct you on what to do. Maybe for you, you're still trying to figure out where you wanna to go to college. I challenge you, I challenge you in the process of you considering all these different places you could go, all these things you could major in. How about you check in with your coach? How about you check in with God and say, God, I got a lot of options out here. It's, it's a lot of things, a lot of places I could go, a lot of things I could do with my life. What's the move? Because again, the steps of a good man or a woman are ordered by the Lord. That means that when God orders those steps, everything you touch is good. That means when you check in with your coach and you ask him, what's the play? Do I go to North Carolina A&T or do I go to Fayetteville State, North Carolina? Do I go to this state or do I go to that state? Do you want me to major in this or do you want me to major in that? God, do you want me to be on the basketball team in high school or do you want me to do this? Everything you all, if you check in with God, you can not go wrong. Again, steps of a good man or a woman are ordered by the Lord. So my question is, what's your move? It's Youth Pastor Jay signing out for another Teen Talk episode. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that this challenged you to think about, hey, have I checked in with my coach? Have I asked God, what does my future look like? What do you want me to do? Because that is the only sure way to make sure that everything that you do is good is successful i hope you enjoyed until we see each other again to, um, next time i hope that you have a good rest of your week good night